Brown to the right, Sonny Palmer in the middle. Arrington set to kick off, and we're ready to get underway. Game number eight, 1989, homecoming. There's the kick. It's a scribbler taken by the up man. And boom, 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 we're at midfield. <laughs> So the G-men will start first and 10 at midfield. Fantastic field position, and that may have backfired for the uh, Levin and Pioneers. Brian Denham in on the coverage with that foot back, marking the signals. Mike takes the snap, and they give it to Latimer. Latimer with some running room. Latimer's going to get about four yards before he is stood straight up and knocked back. Maybe four yards. Tackle was made by Kevin Rollins of the Levin and Pioneers. Pick of the three. Here comes the team at second, down seven from the wishbone. Mike Patton, the quarterback, takes the snap, pitches back to Tony Palmer, coming around the left side. Palmer breaks one up, up over the 45 to about the 44-yard line, where he's tackled by three Lebanon Pioneers. Mark Hensley on the tackle, along with Kevin Robbins. It'll be third down and four. G-Men on the Lebanon Pioneer, 44, third and four. Patton, the quarterback. Michael barks the signals, takes a snap, they give it to Palmer, Palmer's got the first down, Palmer breaks it to the 35, to the 30, the 25, he's going down and he'll be tackled down at the 10, 9 yard line, about the, uh, maybe he's on the, he's got down to the 8, the tackle and the saving one it was, was made by Joe Hughes, Danny this morning, I told head coach Carlock that the third play from scrimmage would be a touch, 17 remaining first quarter, it happens quick here with the G-Men, Patton and quarterback, Mike takes the snap to give us to Tony P again. Tony is in the end zone touchdown. So with 10-13 remaining first quarter, the G-Men have put six on the board and the likes of Tony Palmer, a seven-yard run. Tony with a big gainer. And then the seven-yard touchdown, and Ricky Brown is in to go for the PAT. G-Men wasting no time showing their offensive explosiveness. Already, Ricky Brown, end of the game, Mike Patton to do the holding. The snap for center, it's a good one, the kick is up, it's beautiful. With the score, it's well, they're saying it's no good. Wide to the left with the score, the G-Men six, the Pioneers nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. You wanted it. it's only $21,775, and you can save $6,012. And 80 Brown is set to boot it. Brown, he's the football out, backs up about 10 yards. G-Men fans going crazy. Ricky Brown approaches the football, and it's a high, long kick. Comes down the few at the 5. He's to the 10, 15. And boom, he's knocked in there before he made it up to the 20-yard line. The tackle was made by Chris Stacy, along with, uh, let's see, David Lawson. So the Pioneers will start off first down and 10 from their own 16 or so, and Young, stacked backfield, the quarterback Scott Allen. Allen takes the snap from center, and he gives to the first man through. And let's see who it was on the carry. That was um, Tony Pugh on the carry. The tackle was made by Tony Young from seven yards out. Here come the Pioneers, second down and nine. Allen, the quarterback, takes a snap from center. Pitches back, there's a fumble on the play, and I believe the G-men have recovered. Chris Stacy. Chris Stacy has recovered that football at the 16-yard line, checked at the 12-yard line, and the G-men are pounding on the door again. We're going to move it back to the 14. Eric Robinson is the one that broke up that, that pitch back. He hit game that time. Here we go. First and 10 from 11 and 14. Pat, the quarterback, takes a snap. Rolling to the right. Pitches to Johnny Grubb. And a beautiful tackle and a great read. That was David Young who picked up on that play and smelled it out big time and threw us for about a six, seven yard loss. We'll call it a g break from the huddle. They're up over center now. Patton takes the snap. Rolling to the left. Takes the pitch back to Palmer, keeps it, and picks up about three or four yards. Tackle was made by Chris Gilbert of the Lebanon Pioneers. We look at third and 13 now. Not anymore. Patton takes the snap and rolling to the right. Pitches back to Johnny Grubb. Grubb looking for some running room. He's got a blocker and up over 
the original line of scrimmage and knocked out of bounds. The tackle was made by Joe Hughes of the Lebanon Pioneers. It'll bring up a third down situation for the G-Man. Check that fourth. Ricky hipped on uh, two attempts last week at Castle. Boy, they were big scores. One heck of a game down there. 21-yard field goal attempt by Ricky Brown. Patton set the hold. There's a snap. It's a high one. Ricky's got the football rolling around right. He's being chased. Still being chased. Brown cutting it up. Throws the football in the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown. 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 Ryan Sticky Fingers King. <laughs> that one was, the ball was batted up in the air, Danny. Batted up in the air. Ryan King dove for it and got the snag. And boy, I tell you what, these G, G guys, G men, I don't care, folks, if you don't like me saying G guys, turn the radio off. Because I'm going to say it every now and then. You know, it's like people call them, call the 49ers Niners. Or they call the Reds the Red Legs. Well, sometimes I'm going to call them the G guys. They're the G men and the G guys to me. So the score is 12 nothing with 7.29 remaining. 11-yard touchdown pass from Ricky Brown to Ryan Sticky Fingers King. Ricky Brown got the high snap from center, went right to him, hit him in the bread basket. He rolled to the right. I thought he was going to take it in. He drew the defense up, then threw it at the end zone. It was tipped, and Ryan King picked it out of the air. Touchdown. We're going to go for two. Patton takes the snap from center, rolling to the right. Michael still rolling to the right. He's going to try and put it in himself, and he'll be short. So, uh, with 7.29 remaining in the first quarter, it's the G-Men 12, 11 and nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. It's here, and you're going to love it. The 14 by 80, yes, I said 14 by 80, three-bedroom, two-bath Redmond Flamingo home with over 1,064 square feet of living space. Rooms are humongous, plus a separate utility room. You have to look at it to appreciate it. We said the new homes were... Yes. A heck of a play. A heck of a play. Yes, sir. Tony Pugh and Joe Hughes back deep for the Pioneers. This one's going to come down to Hughes. Hughes at the 10, 15, 20, breaking it up, boom. He's hit at the 25-yard line. The tackle was made by Lance Barber. Barber wearing number six here at home, number 31 when we're on the road. So the Pioneers will start first and 10 from their own field. Scott Allen at quarterback. Allen takes a snap for center, gives to the second man through, pick up of about three yards on the carry. On the tackle, Tony Palmer, Chris Stacy, Chris Patton, and David Lawson was trying to get in on there. Come on, once again, stacked backfield. Allen barks the signals for the Pioneers, takes a snap, and he was rolling left on the option, and he was caught in the backfield. Chris Stacy once again, also Bogan Robinson in on the play. The Pioneers, they send a wide receiver left in David Rasnick. It's the shoot and run offense. Allen rolling right, looking downfield, looking way, looking for all of it. The coverage was Ricky Brown, Tony Palmer. It was intended for, let's see, Joe Hughes, incomplete. I'll tell you what, that little Scott Allen for a sophomore can throw the football, Danny. He did throw it for the Pioneers. There's the snap from center. Gets a good one off. High, and let's see where it hits. Takes 11 and bounce at the 45, at the 44, and a roll dead at the G-Men 42-yard line where they'll take over. First down and 10. As far as the G-Men 12 and the Pioneers, nothing. Here come the G-Men first and 10. Patton takes the snap from center and the give is to Latimer. Latimer is tripped up at the 46-yard line. The tackle was made by David Young of the Pioneers. Check that that was the 47-yard line. Pick up a four, second down six. First quarter, here come the G-Men. Mike Patton at quarterback. Mike takes a snap from center on the keeper, and he gets it up to midfield. It will be just short of the first down by a couple of yards. Must be kind of wet out there on the field, Danny, because they're bringing a new football out every time. Joe Taylor in on the tackle for the Pioneers that time. I'd say it would be, Kiss, because we've had a little bit of snow there. In the county, first quarter. Patton, the quarterback, takes a snap. They give us to Grubb. Check that Ricky Brown, first down. Ricky gets it up over the 
45 to the 44 yard line where he's tackled by David Addington and they'll move those markers as well as the Giles. That'll be an interesting game. First down at 10 from 11 and 45. Here come the G-men. Patton takes a snap to give it to Palmer. Palmer sidestepping for about six or seven yard lines. Six or seven yards. Jimmy Haywood on the tackle. Still, Tony Palmer doing this, Danny, side to side the way he runs this year. Ricky Brown checks out, and Johnny Grubb will go in. I think, yes, with a step like that, that's born. You're born with that. Your talent. Second down and three, seven-yard pickup for Tony P, and we're under three in the first quarter. G-Man on top, 12 zip. From the bone. Patton takes the snap, rolls to the left. He's hit. He'll be smothered. And a good tackle made in there behind the line of scrimmage by number 72, Chris Arrington. So, a loss on the play. Now we'll look at third down and six. A move the ball to Patton. Hoops comes out wide to the left. Patton at quarterback, marks the signals, takes a snap, pitches back to Ricky Brown. Brown has tripped up a beautiful tackle at the 45-yard line. And that was one of them flying tackles, Danny. That is a beautiful defensive play over there. He splits it over 40. Mark Hensley in on the tackle. Mark. Pugh and Hughes standing back at the 15. Pugh and Hughes. It sounds like a uh, law firm. There's the kick by Brown. It's a good one. It's going to come down to Pugh at the 10, 15. And he's wrestled in there by Chris Stacy. Stacy and Patton nail him at the 19. He was creamed that time. Yeah, he had a bunch of turf on his uh, <laughs> on the front of his helmet that time. So we look at a first down 10 situation now for Lebanon with one. Then it was Ricky Brown with an 11-yard touchdown pass on a failed field goal attempt due to a bad snap. From the shoot and run or run and shoot again, it's a complete pass. Complete pass in there to number 21, Tony Pugh. Pugh picks up nine on the play. Chris Patton in on the tackle along with David Lawson and John Grubb. So the Pioneer, right, the quarterback, and one lone back. They're from the shotgun this time. There's a snap for center fumble. There was a fumble on the play. This is kind of almost like a, a shoot and run single wing situation. It looked there. just like a single wing at times. They got the quarterback back in the shot two times to the right side of the field. That is the end of the first quarter with the score of the G-Men 12. The Pioneers nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Here's It's Halloween and no candy anywhere in the house. Hey, maybe you can give out the uh, cotton balls. Cotton balls. To the right, one to the left, one flanker to the right. Quarterback Allen dropping back to pass, looking downfield. He's got his man, got the first down and some. Uh-oh. Whoa, boy. He was being chased. He would have been nailed. The tackle was made by Ricky Brown and, uh, let's see. It's like David Lawson over there. If that is 88, it is David Lawson, and yes, it is 88. Need to get my glasses checked. Pick up uh, of, uh, about three yards, enough for the right, two backs. One is the quarterback. Allen rolling, looking to pass across the middle. It's, oh, almost intercepted by David Lawson. That one was intended for number 32 of the Pioneers, Eric Meadows, thrown behind him, and David Lawson had daylight and a football in his hands for about a hundredth of a second. Not enough. Almost. It would have been six from the run and shoot offense. And shotgun, Allen, takes a snap from center, rolling to the left, being chased, and it's almost intercepted, and then picked up and complete by number 21, Tony Pugh, and that was a great play. Lawson almost got his second interception. Ricky Brown in there on the tackle for the G-Men. Eric Robinson talking to head coach Carlock about something. I suppose he's asking him to buy him a cheeseburger after the game. <laughs> It's first down and 10 Lebanon, so two in a row. Lebanon looking pretty good here. They'll operate from the run and shoot once again. And Allen in the shotgun position. Allen takes the snap from center, looking down to pass. A little quickie, boom. Tackled by Chris Stacy, pickup of a yard. That one was complete to number 40 of the Pioneers. Mark Hensley. That was a little screen in the middle. Pick up a one, second down nine. That will smell now. Run and shoot. 
Allen takes a snap from center, rolling, looking to throw, and it's broken up in there beautifully by Chris Stacy. Stacy got a hand on that one. That was intended for number 32. Eric Meadows, incomplete. That'll bring up third call. Feel the fire, too. That's right. Start one, would you? Allen dropping back to pass, looking downfield. It is beautiful pass. Patting in on the coverage. That one was intended for number uh, 43, Terry Gilbert. It hit him in the bread basket, popped out, and Lebanon's going to have to punt that old pitch in. Tony Palmer and Ricky Brown will drop back deep for the G-men. Hunter will be standing at his 35-yard line. There's the snap from center. It's a good one. Almost blocked. Low kick. Takes a Lebanon Pioneer bounce. Rolling to the 16-17 yard line with a G middle takeover. First down at 10. Also bringing you this game tonight, ladies and gentlemen, our good friends, Cargo Falls Mills, Virginia. First down at 10. G men. Here we go. Batten takes a snap from center. The give is to Tony Palmer. Palmer breaking tackles left and right. He's got a first down. Tackle made by Jimmy Haywood of the Lebanon Pioneers. It'll be first down and 10 G-men. They mark it at the 28-yard line. Huddle 9-34 remaining in the half. We're on top 12-0. Patton takes a snap from center. The give is to Ricky Brown. Brown gets about a yard. Not much more than that. Two yards on the carry, second down at eight. David Young in on the tackle for the Lebanon Pioneers. Starting to snow a little bit out there now, Ken. It is, just a smidgen. <laughs> Advertisements go. Second down and seven, G-Men. Patton takes the snap from center. They gave us to Johnny Grubb. Grubb looking for some running room, and he finds it. Johnny Grubb with a fleet boy, I'll tell you what. He was tackled in the backfield, Danny, and got it all the way up across midfield to the 42-yard line of the Pioneers at a saving tackle made by Joe Hughes. I'll tell you, if Mr. Hughes hadn't have been there, that would have been six. Just about six. Is Johnny looking at first and ten? They rest the ball at the Lebanon Pioneer 42-yard line, 8.42 remaining in the half. Ryan King goes up, split wide to the right. From the wishbone, Patton takes the snap from center, looks to pass across the middle to King, complete. Beautiful pass, beautiful. Boy, he split the needle on that one, Danny, and that hit Ryan right in the old belly button. Joe Hughes in on the tackle and coverage for the Pioneers. It's another G-Men first down. I think, yes, I'm seeing something kind of strange now. The weather as cold as it is on both sides of the field, they are hanging under that ball. They are. Well, Ryan's got that sticky stuff on his head. <laughs> it's a Freddie Bolitnikoff type guy. That's what his mom says. He reminds him of Freddie Bolitnikoff. Except I uh, hope he's got as much money as Freddie does when he's Freddie's age. Here we go. First down and 10, we got a Pioneer jumping. We'll see if it's uh, against us or them. Offside's Lebanon. So it will be first down and five for the G-men. Feel sorry for those people out there. Well. Well, thank God, it could, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. That's right. First down at five, G-Men from 11 and 22. The handoff is to Palmer. Palmer's knocked down at the 20-yard line. That's where his knees hit. Kevin Robbins in on the tackle for the Pioneers. That was a misdirect. In the first half, the snow just kind of lingering down. Patented quarterback, Michael, takes the snap from center. He'll take it himself. And Mike gets up past the 15-yard line to about the 14, 13 or 14. It is another G-Man first down. The tackle was made by David Addington. Danny, what a season we have had this year. Fantastic, kids. It doesn't get any better than this. It certainly doesn't. Or maybe it does. It might. But... Here we go, first down to 10 G-Man from 11 and 14. The quarterback takes a snap. The give is to Palmer. Palmer was hit at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. They give him a yard. We'll call it second and nine. Mike Music in on the tackle for the Pioneers. Johnny Grubb checks out. Ricky Brown checks in.
come the G-Men out of the huddle. Second down nine from the 13. Patton takes the snap from center. Give us to Latimer to the five to the four. Don down to the three yard line. Marcus Choo Choo Latimer, the night train. <laughs> Mike Music in on the tackle. G-Men fans and cheerleaders. First and goal from the three. Patton at quarterback. Takes the snap. They give us to Palmer. Scores. Touchdown. So that's the second TD tonight for Tony Palmer. He took it over from the seven. Took it over from the three with 550 remaining in the half. So we look at 18 zip now. Why not? They need to practice. From the wishbone, Patton at quarterback. Marks the signals, takes the snap, the give up. On the roll, Patton looking for somebody in the inside end. There'll be a flag on the play. Ryan King was intended for Ryan. Ryan was just over the goal line on about the one yard line, and he was smacked in there before the ball got there. Excellent so we'll do call. it again. Excellent call. Hard to miss that one, even if you have big old thick glasses on. I say that's the type that the official loves to call. Not because it happens, but because it's out there in front of everybody. Everybody can see it, there's no doubt. It's kind of, it's kind of like a, an umpire to go, There oh, you go. There was no doubt on that one. Like those fancy umpires. So uh, I guess game three of the World Series, Tuesday night, Candlestick Park. Well, that's going to be strange. 18 zip is the score. We go for two once again with 550 remaining the half. Pat and Bart the signal. They give it to Tony Palmer, and we got it. So, we move it up to 20 to nothing with the score. 550 remaining in the half. We'll pass for 30 seconds. Good drug, downtown Bluefield, Virginia. Wish the very best in the 1989 high school football campaign and say go as much as many talented boys on a Graham team in, in a long, long time. And we'll talk to you, Dad, a little bit later about some of the teams you played on in the first time that Graham beat Beaver, okay? Right. All right, buddy. Okay, Ricky Brown kicks off. That was out of the end zone. Automatic touchback. All the way to the fence. Man, I can tell you, that kid can flat out kick a football. So with 550 remaining in the half, it is the G-Men 20 and the Lebanon Pioneers nothing. They'll try and get something going as they're spread out all over the field. Man in motion is Hamilton. Allen takes the snap, looks to throw, looking downfield. Almost intercepted. It was intended for Carl Hamilton, who was split wide, or rather he was the man in motion. Came straight down the field. Axel Blake, shoot and run, shotgun. Hamilton in motion once again. There's a snap to Allen, looking to throw, a quickie, uh -huh. and it is incomplete. I think, yes, we were lucky right there, because Grubb had fell down, and let me tell you what, the pass was just a little over his head. Clock's not working, Danny. I don't believe. From the run and shoot once again. There's the snap. Allen rolling to the left, looking downfield, throws it up in the air, and it is incomplete. Hamilton in on the uh, catch. There's a flag on the play. I believe they're going to call Tony Palmer for interfering down there, but I don't think he meant to. I don't know, Kess. Let's wait and see what this is, how this is right here. Yes. Pass interference on Tony Palmer. So that will be an auto. There is a timeout, Lebanon. We will pause for 60 seconds. Here are more great specials from Rossi's hometown proud IG left. Time to run and shoot once again. Here come the Pioneers, man in motion. There's the snap to Al. Uh oh the fake snap. Boom. Tackle was made by Chris Patton, but a big gainer. That was that old, uh, what looked like the uh, single wing, Kelly Miltier. The back is up back for the quarterback. Took the snap instead of the quarterback, Allen. And he picked field once again on the second and two situation. Allen takes the snap from center to give it to the first man through. He's got the first down, I believe. Depending upon where they mark it. I believe he's got it, Kent. Yes, he has. That was Mark Hensley, the fullback, in on the carry. The tackle for the g was made by Dersley. They marked the ball at their own 46. Allen, the quarterback. 
from the shotgun, rolling to the right, looking downfield. Oh. And that one was ticked by Chris Stacy, then ticked by the intended receiver, and then ticked by Tony Palmer, and then it was ticked by the grass, big time. <laughs> Incomplete. Stops the clock with 423 remaining in the half. Keep it on top 20 to nothing. Tony Palmer on a seven yard run those yards the second time, three yards the third time. Three scores. Allen at quarterback rolling left, looking to throw. Kid's got an arm on him. He sure has. He's had a rush. It's awful. How quick. It's quick, our kid. That one was there complete. It was intended for Tony to do the tailback out of the backfield. If he had a little bit more time there, I believe that. It would be a little bit bigger story out there. Got to have luck, and if you're going to throw the ball, that is for sure. Of evidence by the Christian. Run and shoot. Offense once again. 11 and third down and 10. They send a man in motion to the right. Allen rolls to the right. Looking downfield. Looking to throw. Throws it up for Greg. Great catch. Beautiful catch. Beautiful catch. Chris Stacy, Chris Patton, and David Lawson. All of them surrounding. Joe Hughes. But he made the catch and the first down. And they're into G-Men territory. Just out of 10, 402 remaining first half. Pioneers from the shotgun. Allen looks to pass. It is complete. Oh boy, I'll Did tell you, you what. That? They marked him down. Yes, sir. That was a flea flicker. Beautiful play, but he was down. Allen threw it to Miltier. Miltier made the grab and then Miltier pitched it back to a guy down the left-hand side. Hello, girls. 1-1. One, one. Second down at 2, Lebanon. Crowd's getting into it now, kid. Pioneers take the snap from center. There's the throw. It is incomplete. Excellent coverage down there, Mistake. Well, I'll tell you what, the guy that was out there for the pass, Dan, he didn't even know it. He had his back turned. Girl, who is Kathy, your birthday? Yes. Happy birthday, sweetheart. <laughs> and you got to work on your birthday. Hey, guys. Lebanon, third down and two from the 33. Rolling to the right is Allen. Uh -oh. Green pass. Boom! Tony Palmer, Chris Stacy. No pickup on the play, and the G-Men D rising to the occasion. Have some pizza, Dad. I know what you'd like to have with that, but unfortunately you can't do that here in the press box. <laughs> Allen from the shotgun. They've got a man in motion. There's a snap from center. Allen rolling to the left, looking downfield, and it's stepped up there by J.J. Caffrey, incomplete, and the G-Men will take over, no score. Pressure on that quarterback. Man, look at this pizza, Danny, look at this. Oh, my Lord. Black olives, Italian peppers, green olives, onions, Green 58111. Here comes Ryan King, split wide to the right for the Pioneer, rather than the G-Men. Michael Patton looking to throw, looking downfield. Throws it up. It's intended for Palmer. It's complete. Palmer at the 30. Palmer splits it back to the 25. He's in the 20. The 15. The 10. Five. Touchdown. G-Men. <laughs> what a beautiful, beautiful play. The throw was short to Tony Palmer. Palmer just waited on it. Concentrated on the football. He had a man in front of him who jumped up in the air, Danny. Couldn't get a hand on it. Tony P took it. And I'll tell you what, how how many yards was that, dude? Okay, but let's see here. 50, 60, oh, we got you. 67, 67 yards, right? 67 yard touchdown strike from Mike Patton to Tony Palmer. The score is 26 zip. 67 yards, guess. g on top. Palmer, boy, when he got that football, did he do some dancing or what? There's the kick. It is up and good. With a score of the G-Men 27, 11 and Pioneers nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Some restaurants will go to great lengths to try and make a little seafood look like a lot, but it's unmatched variety of seafood items and seasonal fresh fish entrees. So you can have a little bit of seafood and a lot of something else from the other guys, or you can reel in some real seafood from football player down there on the field. Appreciate it. He used to have Chad. Chad's gone now, right? Yes, sir. He's in, in college. Here's the, here's the kickoff. We'll be with you in just a second. There's the kickoff taken by Hughes. Hughes at the 10, 15, 20. Hughes turns it up. He's got a wall. Cutting it back, and he'll be tackled at the 42, 43-yard line. Let's talk about Brent a little bit. How old is he? He's 15. 15 years old. He's playing JV football. He's playing varsity football. We look for him to be one of the Graham High School future stars. 
I sure have. All right, we're back here and ready to go. Pioneers with the football, first down and 10 for their own 43. Allen takes the snap from the shotgun. Oh, oh almost intercepted again, Ken. That one knocked down by Tony Young or Brian Denham one. That was a little uh, screen in the middle. Like to see one of them old big boys get that and rumble on down, Ken. Stops the clock with 137 remaining in the first half. g on top, 27 to nothing. If you just joined us, the scoring has been as follows. Second down at 10, Pioneers. Run and shoot from the shotgun. Allen, the quarterback, takes the snap. Boy, he just threw that one in desperation. You're being chased by Bogan Robinson and J.J. Caffrey. I tell you, he was sandwiched that time, kid. I tell you what, that kid's going to have to do a lot of, uh, he's, well, he's already done a lot of running. Help yourself for another one there, partner. Now, guys, now, kind of save me some pioneers. Wide receiver left, flanker left, man in motion, coming to the left. There's that little, uh, single wing type thing. The snap was made back there to number 31 of Lebanon. Drew Kaiser. I don't know what they call it, a round one. They call it a round one. There you go. But uh, fantastic feature from Little Caesars. Call him a 325-8111. Lebanon to punt. Fair catch by Ricky Brown. No, it wasn't a fair catch. And Ricky picks up about 10 yards on the carry. Excellent run that time. I think that's dangerous though, kid. Yeah, it was. Chris Patton going you see Chris down there going, hey, what's going on? <laughs> so we're going to see Brent Surface tonight. We're going to see a touchdown by Brent Surface. Mark my words. There's the snap from center on the draw to Tony Palmer. Palmer up over midfield. He's at the 45. Beautiful block. Palmer with a sidestep, but he's all the way down to the 30-yard line of the Pioneers. Beautiful block in that time. Hughes in on the tackle along with Chris Arrington. That was a beautiful draw and a great call coming from Head coach Marr, not head coach. We got, we're moving, the, we've moved Carlock out and ruined Coach Marr's in. <laughs> first down of 10, 46 ticks remaining first half. I tell you, Tony is having one heck of a night out there, kid. But he is, buddy. They're all doing well, good. Let me tell you, look at the blocking that's going on. Wide receivers to the left and right, and Brian Hoops and Ryan King. Patton dropping back to pass. Looking down, setting up the screen. It is complete and read beautifully by Miltier. Check that. That was uh, Kelly Miltier. There you go. I was right. John Grubb in on the snag. There is a timeout on the field. G Men. We'll pause for 30 seconds. You wanted to sail in. Cost us 20 bucks to see some fantastic football. Can't do that. Listen to us right here. Patton dropping back to pass. Looking downfield again. Patton runs it. Patton to the 30, 35. Patton still on his feet. Patton still on his feet at the 15. Beautiful and running. Knocked back to about the 17 or 18 yard line. Kevin Robbins in on the tackle for the Lebanon Pioneers. It is a first down for the G-Men. I think we will go for six. They're talking to Patton on the side. Well, I believe it is. I believe Lily shows him how to do it. I mean, you know, she draws out all that custom work, and Thomas just does it. She's the brains. There you go. <laughs> Ryan King wide right. Patton takes a step center, dropping back to Patton. Uh -oh. Uh -oh, Patton is smothered. He broke one tackle and then got killed. And Ricky Brown is on. As time runs out in the first half, we couldn't get the field goal attempt off. But that's okay, that's all right. They'll still stick here and fight. With the Four square feet of living space. The kitchen is designed with the homemaker in mind. Loads of cabinets. Right back deep will be Pew and Hughes. famous law firm of Pew and Hughes. Ricky approaches the football, gets the scribble around. Can we take by, oh, that's number two. Who is that, Danny? Gold fumbles it to the one, to the five, boom. He's down at the three-yard line. That was Shane Farmer. It was a line drive. Farmer went to pick it up, scribbled it around, fumbled it, and David Lawson tackled him on about the three-yard line. Excellent coverage. Let's see if I can say that. And Pioneers from their own four-yard line. They're deep in their own territory to begin the second half. Allen, the quarterback, takes a snap, gives to the first man through, and he's up over the five to about the eighth. That was Hensley, the fullback, on the carry. The tackle was made by Chris Patton of the G-Men. Need to start thinking about a player of the game, Dan. Well, Kess, any time you say that, all I can think of is defense, defense, defense. Well, even, though, even though we got a heck of an offense. 
Only problem is when you say defense, you're talking about 11 guys. That's right. Second down and six for the Pioneers, pick up a four. Allen takes the snap from center. And he gives to the tailback, Tony Pugh. Pugh picks up one. Safety, I believe. Well, it's no. just, uh, just outside the goal line. And you almost called that. Almost. So they're going to have to punt that pick skin from way back. Hey, I'll tell you, it's just rested within a couple inches of it. Tony Palmer and Ricky Brown will drop back deep. Well, you've been reading all year long. <laughs> There's the punt. It's going to come to, well, it's going to take a kind of a weird bounce. Brown picks the football up. I think he may uh, get a sun lashing for that, Danny. I know it. We'll see. I don't know what, what Ricky was doing. Let's see what happens when he comes comes to the sidelines here if anybody talks to him. Anybody to score it on us tonight. From the wishbone, Patton at quarterback. Takes the snap from center. To give us to Latimer up the middle. Latimer breaks it. Goodbye. Touchdown. 40 yards out. What a block throw in there. But Brian hoops that time that leveled the defender there. 40 yard touchdown. Marcus Latimer. The choo-choo has become a night train once again. With 8.58 remaining in the third, first play from scrimmage. Latimer takes it from 40 yards out for the score. It's now... Th There's a snap from center. The kick is up. It is good with a score. The G-Men 34, 11 and nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. You wanted a sale, and Ramey Toyota says, here it is, an 89 Cressida, stock number P69, sunroof, and all the options, original price, $23,295. And Ricky Brown is set to kick off. Ricky approaches the football. It's a squibbler. It's going to be taken by Hughes at the 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and wait, 22, 23-yard line. Tackle made by Lance Barber. Well, Lance Barber has been out. Those kids, now, they played down at Springville area, didn't they? Uh, uh, boys, little boys? I believe they did. Uh, they're 22. Man in motion. The quarterback is Allen. There's the snap from center. There's a flag on the play. The pass is complete, and boy, there was a hit out there. Brian Denham and Chris Stacy pancaked that Lebanon Pioneer. Flags in the backfield, I guess. Probably the oyster that. Procedure. There you go. The man in motion, I believe, started up field a little bit too early. No, she uh, does. Uh-oh, uh -oh, dog house. There we go. Well, you know, it's nothing new. Here we go. Levin to throw, a screen to the flat, Palmer on the tackle. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, sir, beautiful. Open field tackle by Tony Palmer. That was Jimmy Haywood with the football for the Pioneers. Tony read that lead station. There's the snap from center. Allen from the shotgun looks to pass. Incomplete. Pass broken up in there by Chris Stacy having a great game. I tell you what, yes, they're putting a lot of pressure in that quarterback now. They sure are, Dan. Second half adrenaline's coming. Chris Stacy in. Wide receivers, two of them to the left. Flanker left, flanker right. Allen rolling to the left, looking to pass. Falls in the air, and it is knocked down by Tony Palmer incomplete. And the Pioneers will have to punt the football. Jason Mills, the intended receiver. There's the snap from center. It's a good one. The punt is off. Beautiful punt. It hits out of bounds at uh, about the 40. Well, they're going to mark it at the 35, or check that, the 40-yard line. Oh, no floating out there. G-Man wishbone. Patton takes the snap. Crossbuck trapped the Grub. Grub on a good move. He's to the 30. Another good move. And Grub is all the way down to the 34-yard line where the tackle was made by Eric Meadows of the Pioneers. Beautiful run that time. Check it. He's down to what? Is that the 22? And they mark it at the 23-yard line. It'll be first. 
Patton barks the signals, takes the snap, and the give is to Tony Palmer around the left side. Tony following blockers. Finally brought down at about the 10 yard line. He almost broke it all the way, Ken. Yes, he did. Tony is following his blockers this year better than he ever has. From the wishbone. Here come the G-men. There's the snap from center. Mike Patton jumps over one tackler. He's got some blocking and he's got a touchdown. Beautiful blocking, Gans. Beautiful blocking. And a beautiful run by Mike Patton who jumped over one defender in the backfield for the score. Sounds like one of those cars out there, huh? Mm-hmm. So it was 5.30. That was an 11-yard run by Mike Patton. Looking for a good snap here on the PAT attempt. There's a snap. It is a good one. The kick is up, and it is good. With the score, the G-Men 41, 11 and Pioneers nothing. We'll pause for 30 seconds. Another morning. Your breakfast is ready to go. The good time, great taste of McDonald's. McDonald's is your morning place in October for a sausage, gravy, and biscuit and regular size coffee for 99 cents plus tax at participating McDonald's. And have a steak and suspicion. If it doesn't happen tonight, it will happen next week against Salem. Beautiful Ricky kick. kicks that one out of the end zone. So Lebanon will start first and 10 from their own 20 and try and get something on the board here against this. These guys are just stingy. First down and 10, Pioneers. There's a the snap from center. Uh-oh. Give us to the first man through. Breaks a bunch of tackles, or two tackles. Tackled by Tony Palmer. And that one, uh, could, we were easily, uh, we were on the blitz there. Stacy and Palmer made saving tackles. Pickup of nine, that was Pew on the carry. Second down. Man in motion for the Pioneers. Allen pitches back around the left side. And he is pulled down in there. What a great tackle there. Johnny Grubb and Ricky Brown and David Lawson and Lance Barber. All of them in on the play. It is a first down, however. Thirty and taking. Snap from center. Give us the second man through. Pickup of a couple of yards. Chris Patton in on the tackle, along with Lance Barber and Ricky Brown. Second down and eight, Pioneers. Just over four minutes to play, third quarter. Allen takes a snap from center, pitches back to the right side. From their own 32, Allen dropping back the pass, looking downfield, incomplete. Broken up in there by John Grubb. That was a close one. John was uh, right on him. Good coverage, though, okay. Cass. Excellent coverage. Excellent coverage. <laughs> a lot of them get some playing time here in a few minutes. Oh, look it's at that. Fake. It, it is a too. fake. A good one. And it's a first down. And the tackle was made by Ricky Brown. So Lebanon's got a first down. And that was a good call. Beautiful call. That was David Young in on the carry for the Lebanon Pioneers. Did we sound real enthused about that fake, folks? <laughs> I didn't even see it until the guy was about 10 yards down the field. That defense. Allen, the quarterback, takes the snap. Give us to the first man through. He's caught in there by Tony Young and Chris Patton. Also in on the tackle, Chris Stacy. Stacy having a great, great defensive outing tonight. Latimer can get into it here. Second down and 10, Lebanon. Allen takes a snap to sit from center, and it is incomplete. Trapped the ball. Allen got popped just as he let that one loose. Incomplete. It is third down and 10. And for Lebanon. Wide receiver right, flanker right. Shotgun, flanker left. Allen to throw. It is complete, I believe. Yes, it is. It is complete and a first down for Lebanon. Complete to Kelly Miltier. That was a beautiful pipe, Cass. 
Melchior took that one about one foot off the ground on the slide. Allen, the quarterback, takes the snap from center, gives to the first man three, goes nowhere. Bogan Robinson pops Allen after the handoff, which is what he should do. Allen didn't like it. <laughs> Jackal was ran that in motion from the shotgun. Allen looking to throw. Out to the flat, the right side. It is complete. Patton makes the tackle along with Tony Palmer. They'll pick up about five or six yards on the play. And that'll bring up a third. We'll call it man in motion from that run and shoot the shotgun. And it is short of first down. That one snap back to the halfback. It'll bring up fourth down for the Pioneers. The tackle was made by Tony Palmer of the G-Men. Also in on the tackle, Chris Patton. That is 59 cents. 18 ounce Peter Pan peanut butter, $1.49. And a 10 pound bag of Idaho potatoes, just $1.59. You'll always find a better buyer. We've got an official timeout on the field. Home. Make it Kirk Drug and you'll be glad you did. All right, back here live. Lebanon from the shotgun. Take the snap. There's a screen. And it will be short of the first down, I believe, Danny. I believe it is, too. Chris and the G-Man. Patton in on the tackle. Saving tackle. Saving. G-Man take over the football. First down of 10 with 11.53 remaining in the football game. I'll tell you what. Stacey helped him out a lot there, too, Kiss, but it was Patton again. Stacey for the G-Man. Dud takes the snap from center, and he gives to Tony Palmer. Tony picks up about three yards on the carry. Tackle was made by Kevin Robbins of the Pioneers. Check it, make it four, second down six. Dudley in at quarterback, marks the signals, takes the snap from center. They give it to Grubb. Grubb is hit at the line of scrimmage. He'll go nowhere. It'll be third down. Mike Music in on the tackle. It'll be third down and six. Tony Palmer checks into the game with the play from the sidelines. <laughs> Look at Dudley beside all the rest. Dudley barks the signals. Takes the snap. The give is to Tony P. And he'll be stacked up. We're going to have to punt this time. Kevin Robbins punt to Hughes, the lone back for the Pioneers. Brown stands at his own 25. There's a snap from center. And the kick is blocked. So the Pioneers will start off with some real good field position here. With 9.34 remaining in the game, Lebanon intent on scoring a touchdown tonight. I think, yes, they are playing good ball right now, Lebanon. Lebanon. Ball is at the G-Men 38-yard line, 9.20 and counting. Man in motion, Allen pitches back to the first man, rolling right, rolling right. He's going to be caught in there and tackled by Ricky Brown. Chris Stacy in on the pursuit along with Tony Young, Chris Patton, and Brian Denham. Ricky coming from the backfield to make the tackle. Brown's picked up a wide receiver left, stack backfield. Allen on the pitch back. Boom. J.J. Right, Caffrey. There you go. J.J. Caffrey. Uh, flags on the play. Caffrey caught Tony Pugh way behind the line of scrimmage, and there is a yellow hanky down. It looks like it might be face mask. It, it is. Yes, Graham. Automatic first down. Pugh limping out of the game with an ankle. Stack backfield, wide receiver left for the Pioneers. Allen, the sophomore at quarterback, takes the snap, dropping back to pass. Looking downfield on the fly pattern. It is incomplete, overthrown. Johnny Grubb in on the defense for the G-Men. Good coverage that time for Grubb, too. Excellent coverage. He was two or three feet ahead of the, the, the uh, intended receiver. Allen, the quarterback, takes the snap from center. Looks across the middle and is incomplete. Just dropped. It was caught there for a second by Miltier. And then he dropped the football. So it'll be bring up fourth down now and 11. 
Johnny Grubb in on the coverage. Checking into the game for the G-Men. I don't know what they're doing there. They have another official timeout, I guess. Got an official timeout. From the shotgun, once again, fourth down and 11, man in motion. There's the snap to, oh, the quick snap. And it's going to be short of the first down as Johnny Grubb and Ricky Brown just caught the man. It'll be first down and 10 G-Men. Close, but no first down. Cigar. There you go. Dud takes the snap from center. The give is to Grubb. He'll go nowhere. Smothered in there. by Mark Hensley of the operate from the left half position. Dudley takes the snap from center. The give is to surface. Surface lowers his head, picks up maybe a yard. Not sure who uh, made that tackle. Pick up of uh, less than a yard. We'll call it third down and nine. From the wishbone, Dudley at quarterback. Dud takes a snap, to give us a Tony P. Tony gets about four yards, but short of the first half. I tell you, Lebanon's defense has really tightened up here in the last six or eight minutes, Cass. So the G-men once again will punt the football. And the Lebanon Pioneers will have another stab at scoring six on the undefeated, unscored upon G-men defense this time. Lebanon will. Shane Farmer is back there along with uh, a guy I can't uh, make out. There's the snap from center. Rick Brown gets off a high, high punt. And that hit 11 and player. And Graham has got the football first down and 10. And who recovered that one, Ken? Chris Pat. One heck of a game he's been playing. Chris, Chris, game. Chris is like uh, in first place at this point. <laughs> for the running for the Cole Chevrolet Cadillac player of the Jay, of course, played last year. Jeremy Carbaugh at center. Dudley pitches back. Flags everywhere. Dudley got caught behind the line of scrimmage by the back of his jersey, but still got the uh, pitch back to Brent's surface. Brent had nowhere to go. These kids loving it out here. Little guys in the game now. Second down 12 from the wishbone. The Dud. That quarterback takes the snap from center and gives to Grubb around the right side. Grubb breaks it. Grubb will be knocked out of bounds at the 11 and 35 yard line. That'll be short of a first down. That was all Johnny Grubb though. The tackle was made by Eric Meadows and it was a saver. Brent Surface checks into the game along with uh, Todd King. Todd King now in for the G-Men. They pull a uh, sneaky on me. It's third down and two. 425 remaining in the football game. G-Men on top, 41 zip. The ball is at 11 and 35 from the wishbone. Here comes Dudley. Dud takes a snap from center. And the give was to surface, I believe, and he is close to the first down. Was that Brent? No, it wasn't. That was uh, J.J. Caffrey. That is a first down. It is a it first is down. It is a first down. So the G-men look at first down and 10 now. Running that clock now. For Cox. Somebody else in there. Maybe Brent. We'll see. There's a snap from center. Dudley. That was to Grubb that time. Grubb went nowhere. Tackle was made by Mike Music again. Latimer checking into the game. Cox comes out. Todd King comes out. Checking in in the backfield for the G-men. Dudley takes the snap from center. Gives to Latimer. Latimer breaks one, and Latimer has got the first down. Just one defender there. He caught me. <laughs> I, I, you, uh, I laugh when I see that guy run because he's such a hawk. Ah, he jumped that one defender there and still got what, another four or five yards. Somebody else in the backfield with Dudley. There's a snap from center. The give was to... See, there's J.J. Caffrey. Caffrey's got it all the way up to about the 13-yard line. Good run by Caffrey. 
Dub checks out, surfing from the wishbone. Second down and nine, G-Men. Dub and quarterback, box of signals, takes the snap. And the give was to the first man through who barely got the handoff. They're not quite blocking good enough for the backs there. That was Chris Cox on the carry for the G-Men. Pick up of one. From the wishbone, Dudley, third down to nine. Takes the snap, pitches back to J.J. J.J. Caffrey picks up some yardage, but there looks like there's going to be a hold on the play. Flag is down. Beautiful run in there that time. Was a great run. It would have been short of the first down. Got it down to the 15, but it'll be a nullify. So to it. From the wishbone, third and 26, G-Man. Dudley, quarterback. Dud takes a snap, pitches back to surface. Surface is tripped up in there. Great tackle made. Little or no blocking, though, uh, Danny. David Young in on the tackle. Of course, these guys will uh, learn a lot in a year. They're learning a lot this year. Oh, uh, now we've got new 30s in there. There's a snap from center. <laughs> the game was to 40. No gain on the play. But the Pioneers will take over the football. First and 10. Tackle made by Kevin Robbins. I think old Charlie Patton's going to be a proud daddy tonight, buddy. I know. Not that he hasn't been every single game this year. But he can go down there and talk trash at Ramey Chevrolet in the morning, huh? <laughs> he really talked trash last Saturday morning. He sure did, yeah, Lily. First down of 10 Pioneers. There won't be a flag on that play. That one was intended, a long fly pattern intended for Carl Hamilton. Why was there no flag on that play, Danny? Because they were both going for the football. Both going for the football, looks like. And make them that way in Bluefield, Virginia. Second down 10, here we go. Allen dropping back to pass, a quickie, and it is low and away. Incomplete. In on the coverage for the G-men was uh, Questenberry again. That was Jason Mills, the intended receiver. Well, look at that. They're going to be traveling down there. The Salem football field is right by the Salem Civic Center. We also want to remind you there'll be a Graham Boosters bus going to Salem. We'll get back to that here in just a second. Third down and 10 from the shotgun. Allen dropping back to pass. It's a screen. It is complete. Fumble. 19 seconds remaining. Pioneers recover the football. I think they're starting to threaten right here again. Yeah, they are. They've got a first down. They're into G-Men territory at the, I believe it's a 39. Yep, they mark it at the 39-yard line. 19 ticks remaining. Levin and still looking to score. Let's listen to the fans. Allen dropping back to pass. He'll throw it way downfield. Intercepted, Ricky Brown. And the G-Men will not be scored on. That's the end of the football game. Beautiful, beautiful. The final score, the G-Men, 41, the Lebanon Pioneers, who won the Southwest District. And Danny, we just won the Southwest District. That's right, buddy. Hands we down. We clinched the Southwest District. We clinched a playoff berth. And what a football team we have got on our hands this year. I mean, tell you what, yes. For the last uh, eight, eight minutes or so, we have played practically everybody on our team. That's uh, something that I like about.